Good morning, everybody. What's happening? What's going on? Today is a beautiful day in Bend, Oregon. Ta-da. And usually what I like to do when I come home from a trip like that is to kind of just reset, chill out for a little bit, and then get things back together. And so the first thing I'm actually going to do to reset is get rid of this little bit of scruff. So number one thing we're going to do right now is shave. And then number two thing, which is usually the number one thing, is coffee. Shave, make coffee. Okay, so the day's kind of flown by. I shaved, as you can tell, nice and pretty and clean. Oh, no, no, no. And then um, currently I am drinking coffee. So that means that I have already made my coffee. So if you guys want to see a coffee montage, go to yesterday's vlog. Um, feel free to watch that one. You can see how I made this cup of coffee because I made it the exact same way. Other than that, today on the agenda, um, I'm going to steal one of Casey Neistat's camera hacks. I need to send this laptop because Morgan Mitchell, the girl that you guys saw crossing the street that I went to the coffee shop with, she forgot this in um, Devin's room, so I need to send it to him in Arizona. Um, so that's on the docket for today, and then I need to take care of this house, water plants, feed the dogs, um, do all that fun stuff. So, quick little montage of me watering all my mom's plants. Ready, set, go! <laughs> that waters all the plants okay so here we go we got the stuff watered towards around the house sort of done potentially have to mow the lawn later but could also be done tomorrow um, but now we got to take this bad boy and send it back to Morgan and then we also have to send this big old thing back to Comcast in Eugene or Xfinity or whatever they're called. I need to work on getting my lighting correct. See here? Now I'm kind of backlit. My face is kind of doesn't look as good. Here, lights in front of me. Nicely lit. Right? Not too bad. So that means that Casey's camera hack is actually going to have to be delayed until later in the day. Still getting used to that whole talking in the store to the camera with another person there kind of thing so um, until I get over that fear I'm not gonna take you in when I deliver it. those guys okay all right cool see you guys in a second bye got it all sent and shipped for a low flat rate. Actually, it was not a low flat rate at all. To overnight something to Phoenix, Arizona from Bend, Oregon costs $190. Morgan, do you really need to do your homework that bad? Like borrow Devin's laptop. So as Casey explained in his video, when you have the Canon ADD and a microphone attached to the top of it, the mic input is on the side of the camera. So when you have this tripod thingy here, it, when you, it naturally you lay it down on its side. And so when you lay it down on its side, it smashes this little headphone jack here and that ruins the jack and you don't want it, it's just bad. So the goal is to now make a little piece, and I'm potentially gonna use this, a little piece of something to go over where that headphone jack would go and that way it won't get smashed ever again. That's the plan anyways. Okay, so in Casey's video, he uses 
just a simple piece of wood that is basically like two by four or two by two. It's fine, but I don't think it's as perfect as it could be. I'm gonna end up using a small little piece of dowel that's gonna kind of just sit over the top of that little clip there and just work nicely. So, so I'm gonna measure the distance on the microphone jack out so that I know if I cut this a little bit further than what this microphone jack is, that way when I set it on its side, it's gonna bump into this and not bump into the microphone jack, okay? So currently we're sitting at five eighths of an inch. We're gonna mark down five eighths of an inch and I'm actually gonna give myself a little bit of wiggle room because we want this to be nice and smooth. And so if I cut it exactly at what the length of the headphone jack would be, once I sanded it down and smoothed it down, there would be no wiggle room and it would still just kind of hit the headphone jack anyways. Nice and easy. Boom. Ta-da. Okay, now we have the piece that we need to work with. Um, we need sandpaper. We're just going to sand down the edges because right now those edges are nice and focus, please. Focus, 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 focus on the hand. Not on the face. Hand, face, hand, face. Uh, we're going to cut down and shave round off these edges. Boom. Smooth little piece of dowel. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the right depth so that it doesn't stick out too much and it fits flush to the camera. That is going to go over the camera piece. I needed an oversized saw for the thumbnail, you know? I want it to fit really well, so I'm trying to take my time and make this as accurate of a cut as possible. Bada bing, bada boom, it fits. It ships for a low flat rate. Lots of trial and error here. That way works. Now, we're gonna shoot this with black spray paint real quick. Okay, in my years of in my years of spray painting things legally, I've never illegally spray painted something. Obviously, spray paint is. Anyways, in my years of spray painting things legally, I've learned that spray paint gets everywhere. So always spray paint away from important things. Meaning, I am not going to be spray painting in front of my camera because it will get on everything. I don't want to risk my camera. So, we're going to spray paint this in the shop while this is outside. We now have a black little nubbin that is going to go on the side of my camera. Now we just got to wait for the paint to dry, glue it on there, and I'll give you a final picture. In the meantime, we're going to shoot the thumbnail. I left this running, I don't know why. But the thumbnail is going to be me holding a hacksaw to this camera so that you would think that I was actually cutting up this camera, not the piece of wood. Anyways, here we go. Okay, next stop on this trip is figuring out how to get whatever is on the lens off. Okay, good. Okay, next stop on this trip is figuring out where the hot glue is. <laughs> Hey, either I forgot what you had said or I can't find the glue. What is, where is it? Okay, so you're in the Kelly's old bed. Yep. The, the loom is set up. Yep. It's... Success! <sighs> My parents literally have it. one of everything the best all right now how to figure out how to film yourself putting something on the camera that you usually use to film yourself with 
Now in Casey's video, he used hot glue to attach this bad boy. And like him, I am also going to use hot glue. I was testing it and glued my can too. I am also going to use hot glue. Okay, so now we're going to take our little doohickey. And which side are we? We said small side up, right? Yep, small side up. Um, I'm going to leave the headphone jack plugged in just that way in case something happens. It's not going to clog up the headphone jack. Okay, so we take this bad boy and we're just going to run. It doesn't have a very long cable. But we're going to run a bead of hot glue inside that little channel there. That way we are able to just stick it on and hopefully it glues. And doesn't glue to the plastic, glues more to the metal than the plastic, you know. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, like Casey said, have approximately four seconds, which I, four seconds, like, I'm still holding this thing. He's saying four seconds. To place this appropriately where we wanted it. And are we thinking that that's the easiest, simplest fix? It looks seamless. It really does not look bad. It's pretty solid. It's on there. And the last test, let's bump it against the ground. Hey, it works. Does not look that bad. All right, and with that success story, that concludes today's video of how to hack your camera with a hacksaw. Featuring Mitch Modine, featuring Casey Neistat. Because it was actually his hack, I just made it look a little cleaner. But yeah, it looks great. And I feel like it's on to where like if I really did want to resell this camera or pop it off, I could just pop it back off and we'd be good to go. Ta-da! Yeah. Anyways, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I went and played disc golf with my friend. Had a blast. I won. Sorry, Texas, but it happens. Um, shout out to Hot Glue for being the beast that it is. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Um, I hope that this video was intriguing enough to you guys to continue to look through my content. And I hope that my content in the past and my content in the future is enough to earn your subscription. Um, other than that, I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. Remember, be nice to people. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt others. Slow down. Don't dance so fast. And I'm happy to actually get to say that I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.